Ah, mambo vipi wazee? Karibuni tena kwenye Startup School TV. Leo niko na my old friend hapa bwana Edgar Mwampinge. Uh, Edgar Mwampinge uh, and a very interesting story um, uh, which I think we share with you uh, wakati naanza kumuuliza maswali. Uh, na mfahamu tangia yuko na Speedy Express na katika vijana wa kwanza kujaribu kujitengenezea ka vision kao ka DHL kadogo dogo ka supply <laughs> mizigo mjini na nini. Uh, yes. lakini uh, baadaye tumefanya naye kazi kwenye baadhi ya programs kama Mawazo Challenge eventually akaja kufound work nasi na sasa hivi ana hefa um, atatueleza hefa ni nini nimejaribu kuelewa lakini na mimi na struggle so <laughs> leo tuko na Edgar part of what we're going to talk about ni, ni, ni great user experience how can you create product ambazo kweli user anaweza kawa anataka kuitumia kwa sababu uh, over the time tumeona work nasi kama platform ina evolve kutoka a very normal product to uh, high quality looking uh, platform ambayo kama umjui Edgar anaweza kujua product imetengenezwa mbele au wapi umeona lakini kitu kingine uh, Edgar ni katika vijana ambao wana very interesting story unajua kuwa mwanasheria alafu all of a sudden ni kuingia kwenye game la startup lazima kuna social pressure kuna family pressure kuna vitu vingi sana kwa hiyo as you communicating to you inawezekana nayo unasoma sheria au unasoma biashara na tunajiuliza da na mimi nitakuingia kwenye startup labda niwe mtu wa IT tu au kitu gani fanya kwa tutaongea uh, mambo hayo yote uh, again fuatilia hashtag uh, startup school tz kwa ajili ya conversation lakini na mwisho uh, kama utahitaji kuendelea kuengage na Edgar online uh, account yake ni at Edgar Mwampinge and at the same time unaweza kutumia hashtag ask Edgar kwa ajili ya kuweza kumuuliza maswali au ask Mwampinge so karibu Edgar asante sana John hiyo ilikuwa ni bit of introduction <laughs> na usijali <laughs> najua wewe ni founder sio presenter sio nini of course umeona <laughs> Kwa hiyo ni issue tu kule ni focus kwenye kuzungumza macho mbona ni hizi yeah, sure. nyingine hizi kama director ana atafanyia kazi yeye yeah, yeah, so swali so langu la kwanza uh, naanza kutokana na hiyo controversial background yako yeah. watu wanaamini ili uanzishe startup na nini lazima usome kwa ICT uwe na yeah. bachelor computer science na IT yeah, usome business au uh, business <laughs> imekuwaje da mzee ghafla <laughs> eh, sheria mzee mpaka kuanzisha startup ya speed expert what yeah. happened hapo kwanza so uh, nilipomaliza chuo nadhani kama uh, vijana wengine wa Tanzania um, ni ile unajua unasoma tu sheria kama unasoma sheria means una concentrate na sheria tu peke yake. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo hata mimi nilikuwa ni mmoja wa watu wale mpaka namaliza chuo sikuwe kufika mwanzo nikafanya kitu nje ya mm-hmm. sheria na after kumaliza eh, ukirudi mtaani kama kawaida reality ya mtaani pia ina inakuita. Unaona <laughs> <laughs> um, lakini nadhani kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ambaye oge na, na ni, ni, ni sema ni mtu ambaye anaweza kuanzisha vitu mwenyewe. Yaani kila kitu nilikuwa nishazoea tunaweza ku kuanza mwenye kufanya. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa na dream ya kwamba ana sheria kama kawaida. Mm-hmm. Na nilikuwa na dream ya kwamba ana sheria mmoja wa sheria wazuri na mm-hmm. kipindi hicho kama nilivyosema kwa sababu nilikuwa sina hiyo business mind nilikuwa nataka kuwa mwana sheria anayefanya kazi katika one of the biggest law firms in Tanzania. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so cha kwanza mimi nimetoka chuo na aim kwamba I have to go to work kwenye law firm ambayo ni mm-hmm. one of the biggest na back then mm-hmm. the biggest law firm was Mkono Advocates. Mm-hmm. So nikafikiria kama anaingia vipi Mkono Advocate as, as, as a lawyer watu wanaokuwa na Mkono back then you can't even think yani kama hauna connections <laughs> <laughs> lakini labda uh, uh, unless umesoma nje na vitu kama hivyo. So nikafikiria nikasema ah nikasema kafanyaje sijui mtu sifanye nini but nzuri nilikuwa na rafiki yangu ambaye uh, alikuwa anafamiana na assistant wa mkono ambaye huyo assistant wa mkono alikuwa ni mzungu ambaye ana handle project za mkono jimboni mm-hmm. akani introduce kwake hivyo ni introduce mimi nikamwambia bana mimi nimemaliza sheria na mimi niko nyumbani natamani at least niji niwe nafanya hapo internship na vitu kama hivyo basi mm-hmm. yule dad, dada mzungu akani connect na akanipeleka pale kwa practice manager anaita ni kama mtu anayesimamia sasa ofisi ambaye naye alikuwa ni mzungu. Yule mzee, mzee bana mwache tu lofe kwa maana zani ndio Tanzania lofe ambayo ina iko floor tatu yani kwenye building pale zitafura 9910. So nikaenda pale 
Nadhani sikuwa vizuri sana. Unajua tumeuliza hiyo vitu vya kawaida alafu eleza wenyewe na school is a college. Nadhani yule mzungu alinipa tu opportunity kwa sababu kaambiwa na mzungu mwenzake. Kwa hiyo nikapewa opportunity ya kwenda kufanya internship pale. Ah hiyo ilikuwa ni 2012 baada ya kumaliza chuo kama hivyo. So nimekaa mkono advocate nikafanya ah zile pressures of a law firm na nini mambo yalikuwa yanaendelea pale as like kwenye tenda kuja kwa mwanasi hiyo. Lakini uh, to cut the sh- um, uh, story short ni kwamba nilikaa pale kwa muda wa miezi michache kama mitatu baadaye nikawa nitakiwa niende law school kwa sababu hauwezi ku, 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 ku practice sheria bila kwenda law school. Mm-hmm. So nikaondoka pale nikachukua form nikajaza kwenda law school. Uh, wakati sana subiri kwa sababu nilipojaza kipindi kile na nani zani registration ya mobile kwa ni mengi una unaweza ukachukuliwa uka, uka lakini ukasubiri si baka kote ya ngapi si kwa hiyo nika nikapata lakini nikawa nataka ni subiri kote kaza hivi kwa hiyo nikao potu niko nyumbani unaona so the good thing ni kwamba mimi pamoja na mambo mengi uh, ni, ms, ni msomaji mzuri so msomaji mzuri wa vitabu Mm-hmm. ni msomaji mzuri wa vitu ambavyo vinaendelea around the world unaona mm-hmm. kuorganize interest online wapi nasoma sana vitu vingi i can't read books any so you just mzuri pia katika mazingira so vitabu yani kitabu mimi kukimaliza ni issue lakini articles online nini like mm-hmm. every day yani mm-hmm. so niko well updated na vitu kama mm-hmm. so nilivyo kopo pale na nilivyo kopo nyumbani sasa kama niko home tu na subiria kwenda law school cha kufanya zai hiyo unajua ni mateso unakaa mka asubuhi <laughs> ndio cha kufanya napeleka madogo kama dada yeye kafikiria sana hapa na asubuhi kwenda law school nimekaa tu asubuhi mpaka jioni sisi kwa kitu cha kufanya na kwa sababu kwa sababu kama napenda sana kusoma kwa hiyo nikaanasoma vitu vya Forbes sisi nini unajua zile Forbes list is start at the 30 kipindi hicho mwaka kama unakumbuka una jamaa kwa Patrick Ngoi yeah yeah 28 years old million ya Tanzania ya sawa kila kila sawa sasa like this guy is young amfanye vitu ameanza si wapi na nikasoma story moja ya dogo mmoja ambaye alikuwa anafanya issues za derivative delivery so za Africa mm-hmm. alikuwa na miaka siku 19 sasa mm-hmm. lakini delivery yuko anaifanya alikuwa anafanya delivery ya uh, medicine kwa mm-hmm. wale wazee ambao unakutoka mm-hmm. kwenye chronic diseases like kila okay. mwezi labda unatakiwa akachukue madawa hospitali mm-hmm. so yeye anapita kwenye zile nyumba na anaandika majina yao na wabeba nami nitakuwa nenda ku like this is business now mm-hmm. ana kama wadogo wanaweza kufanya hivi mimi sababu nimekaa tu hapo home mm-hmm. ndio wewe zamani mimi ndio Uh, wazo la kwanza sasa mm-hmm. kusema i have to do something leap on zia mm-hmm. not come i have a dream of becoming a businessman or anything mm-hmm. no just come i have the problem i need to solve yes come okay. the sky to you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. it's it's torture and yeah. staying at home yeah. basic so ndo nganza kufikiria i need to do something na but nzuri hiyo hiyo 2013 kwenda 12 kwenda 13 sasa mm-hmm. um ni kasa sijui kama nataka nianze mtanzaji lakini mm-hmm. i know kwamba i should start something mm-hmm. uh, ni kwa na jua story nyingi za watu yani za vitu vingi zinapendelea kama nilivyokuambia so ni kwa na farm story ya Ashish Saka, Saka okay. yes a uh, Uganda pamoja na um, ilikuwa ni Mara, Mara Foundation yes yeah. najua sio unasaidia entrepreneur nini nini sasa sikuwa najua kwamba baba wako bongo mm-hmm. sasa kuna siku sister wangu kwa hivyo sema unajua kaja nyumbani kila kitu ndo natumwa. Mm-hmm. Kwa sister kama nitumwa nikamchukulie driving license maeneo ya Mayfair. Sasa kama ya Mayfair kipindi cha Zandio license gani atolewa pale? Na Mayfair nikaona neno mara foundation. Ah ndo wale wale. Hawa simesoma about them si Uganda nini nini. Yeah, yeah. Nikasema kwanza nikauulize kama wana kama wanafanya same thing na wanachokifanya Uganda. Mm. So nikauulize nikaingia kule ndani nikakutana na mzungu yeye ndo nina kama wana. Mm-hmm. So nikajieleza bwana kama I know mara foundation in Uganda doing this and this and this and doing the same thing here in Tanzania. So mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Ah kaniambia okay wanafanya nini wanasaidia si startups si wale mm-hmm. wanasave kuna co-working space pale na nini. Mm-hmm. Like, want to join you guys. Mm. Akasa hasa haina shida basi ne wa alikuwa yenye kama kuna fee flani unatoa unatoa ya kukaa pale. Wewe zamani ni desk ilikuwa shilingi shilingi 70 sio kwa mwezi. Mm-hmm. Sasa so, wakati huo mimi nishafikiria kama nataka nifanye nini. Nilikuwa nafikiria issue ya delivery kwa sababu nimekuwa mm-hmm. kwa inspired na yule dogo. Yeah, dogo yeah. Na nikaona una pia ndo kitu ambacho unaweza kwa sababu dogo nilikuwa nitumia baskeli. Kwa hiyo nikaanza kama ni maana ni kitu ambacho unaweza kuanza bila kuwa na hela. Kuna vitu tunaweza kufanya basi nikamba okay i want to join you guys nikasema sawa basi nilikuwa na kila changu fulani hivi ninacho mzee nikaenda kulipa miezi miwili pale laki moja na 40 unaona basi nikaanza kwa naamka asubuhi mimi natoka home 
naenda pale mara foundation kila siku ile mtu pia ni si ni sikae huko yes pale wewe zamani ndio nikaanza kukutana sana watu ndio ile ndio nikaanza ku learn everything about business nikutana na dada mmoja mtu anaike sasa hivi ni yani wa CV people africa ndio alikuwa naenda ameanzia pale kwa sababu ile dada kwa sababu alikuwa ameshafanya kazi amekuja kuanzisha business yake lakini ana exposure kufanya kazi mimi ndio kama vile akani akalichukua kama kunipa guidance kwa mimi nikasogeza desk yangu karibu yake nikaa na kana hii pale kila siku kwa tiu faraja nyalandu pia ndio alikuwa na desk pale ile shule ndio mm, ndipo alikuwa kai yeye alikuwa anakaa mtu mwingine yeah. lakini alikuwa anakuja pale mm. na Mara Foundation ilikuwa na programs nyingi nzuri mm. kwa mimi pale from pale nika no, kipindi cha kumkana naenda na laptop yangu i don't know nataka nifanye nini yeah. na wazo tu kama maybe i want to do logistic and that mm-hmm. lakini sijui yani naanzaje mm-hmm. so mimi nikaanza ku learn everything from there mm-hmm. that's where my journey has started mm-hmm. na baada sasa pale kukutana na interesting interesting people wanakuja wanafanya wanafanya vitu na kukutana nao mnapiga story kila siku mzee mm-hmm. ni taratibu wazo la kama nataka nenda law school ikaanza kuondoka yes yes i know naanza ku enjoy process yes wana watu wanafanya hivi vitu ni but afu bado kipindi hicho unajua unapokuwa unakaa na watu how how is more about the struggles yeah. how is more about unaangalia kwa opportunity wanafanya any wana vitu vyao wana lifestyle yeah lifestyle kibini cha kwa mimi si you anything about it hiyo what are the struggle people kwa hiyo game liko yes kwa ni kwani kwa excited it was there but if you ka kibini ndo kana law school kambia home kama mimi ndo wana got lost wow how how, how was it yeah. umoto wake walikuwa unajua my brothers and sisters like you guys like crazy ile utakikuta lost school utaka kufanya nini afu na kinachomi si nikao naondoka tu naenda zangu kule go wanakosa kazi yes yani na huwezi kuona waelezea si kila kitu tunachojifunza huko nini yani unajua kwa wana consider tu ni kwamba utaki kukaa ile huko unaenda labda kushinda na washikaji huko kwa sababu hata huwezi ku explain kwa wazee sio about mala foundation yani huwezi kusisha kazi anaweza wewe umedada Ako ni utaki kwenda law school nikamba bana kwa vitu najifunza lakini nataka nifanye business ina nini ah wala kwa wale sound kama kichao na ufanye biashara una mtaji una nini have to go to law school how speed express started so from there sas uh ndo nika figure out kama i want to do um uh, delivery na the reason ya kupanda kwa nini nataka kufanya delivery kwa sababu ni kana tafuta kitu ambacho naweza nikakianzisha kwa rais ambacho hakitahitaji kuwa na hela nyingi na nini uh, so what i did nikasema okay i want to have a company na the easiest way ya 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 mimi in that was the easiest way because ya mimi kukua na kampuni kwa sababu ni mwanasheria so nilicho kufanya ni draft all the documents zinazo hitajika nikaenda ku register company yani nilifanya hiyo kwa sababu ilikuwa hai nilikuwa na hiyo skill yani na hizo skills na nilikuwa ni register company nikakaa nayo kampuni inaitwa Speed Express imetoka kwenye neno speed mm-hmm. for expresses unajua kwa sababu nilikuwa nafanya researches za kusema na hizo kampuni za logistics ni chelo ilianzishwa na radi si unajua na kalili mpaka mpaka mwaka mpaka mwaka so ah uh, register company nikaa nayo pale na hiyo so naanzia wapi huyo client tunamtafuta vipi unaona the good thing ni kwamba yule Nina i said kwa bonge any sikia moja ya 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 nini mseme ya programs best programs ambazo mm. zilikuepo sasa ni kama hata sasa hivi zimetokea i'm sorry yeah, yeah, mnafanya hiyo yeah, lakini yeah. bado nina mm. alikuwa ni yule mtu ambaye mm. uh, kila mtu ambaye yuko ndani ya ile kitu ile yeah, program yeah. anahakisha ana muassisti katika personal, personal level, level. Yes. with respect to your yes, needs and wow. nini unafanya wow. nini unaona kwa yeah. kwao mimi pia ni kama akao niko naye na ni guide ni kamboke okay, logistics unataka kufanya nini unafanya hivi ni hivi hivi naona au pewe hela ufanye nini lakini lakini ile mawazo yes. na opportunities kwa hiyo from there nilipokuwa na kampuni tayari cha kwanza kabisa my first client nakumbuka nikaanza sana kuambia pia washikaji bwana mimi na kampuni tunafanya na nini delivery mwaka first deal nilipewa na rafiki yangu mmoja tulisoma naye ni Dorothy alikuwa yeah. anafanya kazi mawala advocates pale mm. walikuwa na nani na, na wanatakiwa wana, wana distribute letters mm. kwa all headquarters za benki 
Okay. Hapa na ni Dar es Salaam. Muone. Kwa kwa hiyo kwa mambo sio ya nini unajua zile bank unataka unapewa RITS unataka muangalia account za Kenya na za Delivery yeah. so. Ah uh, walikuwa wanatafuta delivery company kuri mm. ya company ya kufanya. Mm. Dorothy akamwambia, "I have a friend mbe." Ndio kampuni yeye anafanya. Kinisho sio ifanya kazi hata moja. Eh ana pikipiki ana nini? Sasa ndio kanipigia sibana hapa kuna kazi nini kama vipi njo. Mzee wezi amini wa zangu fashion kwa chama yake nikaenda pale. Sio. Hospital. Hapo 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 ran consideration na us. Eh una pikipiki hata moja. Sina pikipiki. Sio chote. Wasi nimefika pale mzee meeting yetu nimesikia kuria kama ni say yes say kuria company nini nini. Okay sasa tuna barua za mtakaza distribute distribute the haraka sana can you do it maybe in a single day since ni single day nitaweza. Yes sio you an experience na ile kwamba delivery inafanywaje utakweli kama kwa barua ngapi niweze kachukua muda gani nikamwambia sikize ni hizi ndani ya siku moja zinafanya za malizike zote akasema basi kama una kama una nani kesho mtume delivery aje achukue delivery nikamwambia sasa kwa sababu ni yani you guys my clients tunaanza kufanya kazi kwa mara moja nitakuja kuzichukua mwenyewe yani kuonyesha au serious kumbe mzee ni one man yangu Eh ni mtu wewe bali naye. So what I did? Mimi mtoto akawe, kuli akawe kona fagana na washikaji kibao wa deliver pikipiki nini. Nikaenda kijiweni pale, kawe kwa washikaji zangu hapo pale ngombei. Wanangu tuna kazi ya kufanya kesho hivi na hivi na hivi. Of course ningeanza anza ku identify wa deliver ambao anafanya nao vizuri kule street kama in case of it okay. Tukawa wote tunafanya. Kwa hiyo dogo kaniambia fresh. Sasa tutakifanya kisha kama tena nikachomekea vizuri nikaenda kule nikaenda kuchukua msuku sababu ningemtuma deliver boda boda hata t-shirt yana kwa deliver boda boda sinawajua hata ungeshtukia baba hapa kuna shida so nika nikaenda mwenyewe tena nikao fresh nikapewa mzee nikaweka kwenye bag nikaenda kumchukua dogo wezi amini tulipiga kazi mimi na yule dogo sawa mimi nimemenipakia mimi na bag langu kaanza afu na uzuri wale wangu benki zilivojipanga hapa nikaambia ni ziko kwenye mstari mmoja inaanza na access bank hapa and kote zizi easy hapa na nini hapa makumbusho tukatoka hapo tukaingia nadhani KCB KCB ukienda ukienda safari town kuna back place kuna nini nini wote wako same moja kwa hiyo mzee tulipiga wezi amini tumeanza kazi saa mida saa 4 sana na mimi nishamaliza mzigo mzigo barua zote zinafika za kwenda mzee watu wako na sign kwenye ile dispatch book nikarudisha ile dispatch bana nishamaliza kazi yetu vizuri eh mzee nani huko ka flight issues issue ikape ikaje tuletee invoice ili tulipe mzigo na invoice tena ndio basi ina shida tayari tayari Hai kafikiria kwa invoice na tapi kauliza shikaji watu wengi kwa na shikaji mle ndani nadhani kama kama sikumbuke vizuri kwa mshikaji mtu adeu kileo unamkumbuka kuna mjuje bwana anafanya kwa event najua baba event pale anani pale yuko pale mara kenda kumuuliza bwana kuna issue hivi voice ni mbele sasa hiyo ina shida mdogo wangu kari yako watu hivyo vitabu wana print fa kani mara mbele nikampigia mshikaji nikaenda kari yako vitabu ilikuwa printed speed ikatoka ikatoka hiyo vile sasa hivi stana hizi voice watu naingia tu kwenye computer nitengeneza vitabu vitabu nitengeneza kitabu changu kimoja nikawachapa hivi voice nikawapelekea mzee mzigo ikaandikiwa nani ikaandikiwa mm. cheki mm. sasa uzuri ni kama ndio hiyo yani si nimepeleka usifikiri kwamba hata benki account ya kampuni si yeah. mzigo ulipokuja kwenye cheki sasa andika jina la speed ile <laughs> ile sasa ningeenda kufungua account ya yeah. yeah, speed yes, yes. Oh, maana ndo speed kazaliwa hivi kwa hey, sababu yeah. sasa nicho kifanya ni kaidentify sasa boda boda wazuri mm. ambao ni mwatrain vizuri na ila fun katengeneza t-shirt kwa sasa ikaanza kuwa kama ikitokea kazi ndio maana kuna t-shirt anaenda kwa hamna kuvaa t-shirt yangu kama mna kazi. Pitia zile programs za mara tukawa wanafanya mentorship funding walikuwa wanafanya walitufanyia one one mentorship ile kwa bonge moja mentorship kwa anachukua jamaa from corporates wanakuja kwa anakumbuka ile program kina nani jamaa for the kipindi hicho tu. You bring very strong people wanakumbuka 7 to 10 years. Mimi nikawa hooked up na mshikaji jamaa mmoja mkurugenzi wa Nazani Communication ni director wa Coca-Cola. Okay. Okay. Mr. Mtu actually wenyewe tutakana kufanya wali jamaa uh, 
uh, wanakuja pale mm. wanakaa kwenye meza. Yaani unapita kila mmoja unapita kama unaenda kupichi yani. Okay. Alafu wao ndo wana select mtu anayemtaka. Kwa sababu kutokana na mimi na idea yako mimi can I'll be able to assist you bwana. Mimi wewe bwana nitakuwa hiyo. Kwa wao ndo wana select sio sio una sio wanapangiwa. Kwa hiyo mimi kwa sababu msitamtiwe kwenye communication na nini alivona logistic alisema mimi I've heard about humble beginning but this yes. was super humble beginning. <laughs> Lakini kingine is opportunity to build networks. Yeah. You, you understand and capitalizing on mm. networks. Ishu nyingine naitaga mimi the ability to show up. Yes. Ambao ni changamoto sana kwa vijana wa Tanzania like she always show up. Mtu anapokupa opportunity to care na ichukulie serious. Ishu nyingine ni ability to deliver under minimum resources. Yes. Ukutoa excuse kwamba sina pikipiki ah. sasa hizi barua nitawaletaje na nini you, you are able to deliver. Ishu ambayo nataka nikuulize hapa mm. we, we had a conversation just before this thing. Yeah. And I think that conversation was very real uh, was very important to have. Mm. Ulisema kwamba kuna changamoto ambayo a lot of new startup founders Tanzania sasa vijana wana face ambao ni sense of entitlement. Yeah. Kwa sababu tangia anaanza anapewa all the support na hizi yes. hapo zilizokuepo anapewa VCD fund tarikeshoto mshindi eh, kashetu mshindi kashetu eh, kitu niggas. gani umeona <laughs> eh alafu yeah. tayari si kafanywa hivi kafanya yeah. kile tayari ameshatoka kwenye blog post chache na kwenye gazeti yeah. na nini so what what is your advice you really felt this is crippling our jamaa ability ya ku grow na kwenda stage nyingine what is your advice for a new founder right now um, where should they focus on kwa sababu kuna kuna a lot of distractions yeah. coming to their direction yeah. what should they do so that they can be able to focus and build their businesses uh, i think first of all uh, kabla ya kujaribu kutaka kuwa entrepreneur whether it's tech or whether you want to do anything you have to know the basics of business mm-hmm. sir so, uh, ukishajua the basics of business um utaelewa namna ya kunavigate Mm-hmm. basic of business ni kwamba ni mbili tu kwamba have to go out there sell whether you're selling a product or selling nini bring in revenue ukitoa revenue unabakiza i mean ukitoa nani matumizi unabakiza profit classic umeona kwa hiyo mengine yote mbwembwe mengine yote yani mbwembwe mimi nikaanambia watu siku moja kwamba unajua kazi ya CEO wa Vodacom ah si ana supervisor ngambe no kazi ya CEO wa Vodacom ni kuuza vocha Yeah. 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 kipindi hicho kipindi yeah. bado vocha sasa kwa hiyo kazi yake. Na maana kama kiingia kwenye 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 board kule wanachomuuliza ni about number ya UA mauzo na mauzo kilicho mauzo kilicho si vocha. Kwa hiyo kazi yake kubwa ni kuuza vocha. Unajua what you say I don't have that book here. Kuna kitabu cha Rane cha Ramchana Ramcharan how to be a CEO. Anajaribu kumcompare a merchant on the street na CEO of big corporate organization basic are the same, same yes. just just make sure you don't run out of cash yes. make sure kwamba uh, your your stock yes. kweli natoka mzigo uharibiki <laughs> make sure kwamba yeah. your price iko mm. bit fairly ili uweze kuwa relevant kwenye yes. market kwa kuna basic stuff sasa mm. hizi mbwembwe nyingine zote kusafirisafiri okay. nini okay. na kupitia okay. 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 hizo uh, uh, mimi mimi ndo nilipata bahati ya kuanza kwenye mm biashara kwenye biashara kind of purely business kama yeah, go yeah. there sell mm-hmm. get a client to get money mm-hmm. sawa so, yeah. kulikuwa hakuna ile kwamba kuna fund somewhere si kuna investor si kuna but mbaya nikaja kuingia kwenye hii nikayumba kidogo lakini hapo hivi i'm back here so um wakishajua hiyo uh, ina maana wanaenda na just one thing kwamba we're going to do business mm-hmm. and if you're going to do business means mm-hmm. you are responsible for mm-hmm. everything no na ku sell na nini mm-hmm. so kazi ya jumanne so kazi ya nini so kazi yeah. kama yeah. kama CEO wa Vodacom kazi yake ni kuuza ni ku make sales wewe mm-hmm. mwenyewe wa startup kazi yako na nini ni kufanya sales mm-hmm. sasa issue ni kwamba kwenye tech yes kuna 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 kuna, kuna namna fulani ambayo 
inaweza kawa sio kama business za kawaida yeah. na kuna yuko kuna reason behind lakini mm. the end goal is still the same kama business ya yeah, kawaida yeah, yeah. kwamba you start a tech company maybe by, by building a product first mm-hmm. so at the phase ambayo una build the product means mm-hmm. you don't do any sales you have to yeah. make sure kwamba the product uh, iko vizuri na nini yeah, kiende yeah. tatumika vizuri mm-hmm. umeona so at that point yes unaweza kupata uh, focus unaweza itakuwa hiyo na unaweza kupata all the assistance mm-hmm. na nini mm-hmm. ya kusaidia ku build the product yeah. kwa maana kwamba watakuja wataalamu wa whatever mm-hmm. design ni nini ni nini yeah. branding ni nini yes. yes. lakini once the product is ready kazi inabaki inarudi kule kule yeah, kwa to, to go and sell it's yes. your stuff yeah. sasa uh, easy programs hizo kwa zinakuwa uh, zinakuwa designed mm kwamba kukusaidia wewe mm. wagen zinakuwa designed kukusaidia utoke sasa katika ile phase ya yeah, maybe building a product i mean mm. ili uingie mm. kwenye market to sell mm. so take startups wazi na pata sana hiyo assistance na nini mm. kwa wenzetu sana nao jua wanaitumia vizuri kwamba mm-hmm. okay, kwa assisted to build a product yeah. so build a product is not easy eh? yeah yeah, uh, yeah. Then you have I've been assisted to build a product lakini like, mshara secrets my responsibility to sell na kila kitu bad thing about sasa startup sasa wa Tanzania wanaokuwa naanza kwa sababu wanaanza kwa zile zile procedure kama ilivyo kwa wenzetu kwa sababu ni technology mm-hmm. business is a bit different from SMEs za kawaida mm-hmm wanakuwa carried away na hiyo sasa kitu. Unataka kila yeah, siku wasaidie. Eh nilikuwa yeah, nilikuwa yeah. accelerated, nilikuwa si nilipitia kwenye yeah, ideation yeah, nini yeah. program plus za Jumanne yeah. kile nilipo kama kwa kwa ananiambia branding itakuwa yeah. hiyo si nini. Yeah. Sasa wanafikia kwamba itakuwa Jumanne na wewe upaendelee kwa hiyo kila siku. Yes, you're right. And is your business for God's sake. Yes, yes, sasa <laughs> wanakuwa entitled na vile vitu yeah. wanafikiria kwamba mm-hmm. that's how business it mini is. Um and if I have to be honest I blame mm-hmm. you guys because sometimes eh, <laughs> maybe yeah. you don't tell them from the beginning come yeah, hey we're just yeah, tipping yeah. in this mm-hmm. this time like ni mm-hmm. ni kazi yako wewe yeah, so yeah yeah i i, I mm-hmm. totally agree with you yeah, i totally you, agree with you and mimi sasa hivi sasa kwa sababu tunapata hizo opportunity yeah. they should know but mm-hmm. if you're going to to business just know everything mm-hmm. which is happening in business mm-hmm. yeah, it's your responsibility it's not yeah. tremendous yeah. business but yeah. if we came in to help you mm-hmm. be grateful if it doesn't come no feelings na pia wish mwingine kabisa if you want to go do i mean if you want to become a businessman and kitu chochote unachokifanya kwenye business leave the feelings at the door yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's business yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's don't worry about the no feeling <laughs> yeah 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 no yeah. no so hata kwenye ku negotiate kwenye ku nini yani ukienda mzee ukaona una negotiate na mtu anavutia sana kwake don't yeah. come and complain yeah, yeah, yeah. vutia kwa ko pia it's, it's business, business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. So tumeongea mambo mengi sana Edgar na really the experience has been amazing. Ajio <laughs> kuna mengi zaidi tungeongea yeah. kwenye kwenye experience. Again sasa now uh, you can't sell if you don't know your user and spending yeah. time to know your user yeah. is very important. Yeah. From your experience with Oknasi, kijana yeah. mpya ambaye anaanza anataka kuingia kuingia yeah. kwenye mambo ya co-founding. What yeah. is your advice on helping them to make sure they have a better user experience with their product and how do they ensure they create product that actual people can use them so bion changamoto pia so hizi kuna app sio apps app kama book hivi kila mtu ana app yake bro mimi app yangu na so so what is your advice and what is the process to have that working product and what kwa watahitaji kuitumia um nadhani kwenye kwenye sawa product um kwanza ni process ya kule mm-hmm. kwa sababu unaweza kuwa unakuja na product ambayo yes maybe ipo kwa wenzetu huko lakini huko ya watu mm-hmm. hawazijui products mm-hmm. za design yao labda au unajaribu kutengeneza kitu ambacho ni kipya kabisa mm-hmm. so uh, unapokuwa una build mwanzo ni, ni, ni kama ni kama unajaribu tu ku, ku, kuingia kwenye mawazo ya user mm-hmm. kwa wenzetu sasa ambao wana luxury ile ya kufanya nini tunasema research before mm-hmm. user center yes. design they yes. talk so to their customers and yote and na budget ni, yes, yeah, budget ipo <laughs> <laughs> sasa kwa sisi ambao tuna view product is una test na mama tu mama vile tumekubali but um you have to do research yeah. what, what any hata kama in any circumstance yes yeah. lazima ufanye tu 
research umeona mm. whether kwa ku read kwamba wetu wengine wame wame build vip products zao mm. na nini mm. lakini kujaribu kwa ku understand pia specific industry ambayo mm. unaenda ku 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 ku, 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 ku build a product for yeah sasa uh, cha kwanza kuna 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 kuna, kuna vitu viwili user experience user interface vyote mm-hmm. vyote vya vyote vya muhimu mm-hmm. kwa sababu before mtu haja pata user uh, experience mm-hmm. lazima user interface kwa <laughs> vile iwe imekaa kwa hivyo kwa ruge za kutani tunaweza <laughs> kusema kwamba unajua unasemaga kuna kupenda lakini unaweza kumuona mwanamke kwanza before hujajua kwamba maana huyu anakaa nikaishi naye kwa this interface lazima <laughs> na kuna kuna nani msemo ndo waswahili au wazungu wanasema uh, don't judge a book by by its cover but but cover is very people do judge, judge the cover, book by the cover of course so if they uh, yani whether you like it or not they're going to judge it yeah. so yeah. cha kufanya za link era 1404 mm-hmm. <laughs> cha kufanya cha kwanza pia anza na hiyo sasa mm-hmm. user 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 interface mm-hmm. lazima ifutie yeah. lazima mm-hmm. imuonyeshe mtu kwamba watu wako serious na nini mm-hmm. so watu logo limi kwa sasa hivi nisha kwamba kana problem kwamba i do judge a lot especially kwenye website za kawaida mm-hmm. if you wanna do business with you go to with your website to website ni especially the website za yeah. developers is and yeah, yeah. like so you wewe yako kwako tu mwenyewe ime kushinda how can you oh i can no, no, so user user tunakuja sasa kwenye user experience which is mm-hmm. very very now important mm-hmm. um user experience ni ile labda ni fanua tu kidogo kwa watu ambao hawajui mm-hmm. ni ile experience nzima ya kutumia product mm-hmm. na tunaongelea kwenye tech inaweza kuwa ni high level of understanding kwa mtu wa kawaida labda tuongelee kwa vitu vya kawaida mtu unaenda bafuni kuoga sabuni unapokuwa unashika mkono ni nashika vipi inakaa vizuri mkononi that's the user experience yeah. sababu unaweza kuwa sabuni nyingine mzee imejaa mkono ni afu inateleza ukifanya hivi imeanguka yeah, yeah. na sisi ambao tunaogea kwenye mabafu ambao cho humo humo unaweza <laughs> mzee kama moja bila ilipotea hata afu umetoka kununua sabuni za hiyo mpya <laughs> ko so, sasa kwa wenzetu ambao wanajua hizo wana yani wanazingatia hivyo vitu vyote kuna mm-hmm. kuna 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 process na procedures za ku za ku za ku, za ku design a pro, mm-hmm. product mm-hmm. ambao watu wengi kafano hapa ni ni def unaona ndio kama kwamba mtu wa sabuni sio tu sabuni labda ina kina kishimo hivyo eh. watu wamefanya research wameweka kile kama hii kama watu wa mkono ni itakaa vizuri likewise chupa nyingi utaona yeah. chupa haziko fractures na kama vidude dude yeah. mm-hmm. kwa sababu waga zina zinateleza na nini mtu akishika ya so those are user experience so someone kwenye product za digital product Mm-hmm. nikiklik hapa nitaenda wapi nitaweza mm-hmm. kutumia bila ku, ku, kusoma how to use manyo kwa sababu people yeah. people don't like don't have time on that yes, no, no. make sure kwamba naweza kuko yes. back so naenda forward hey, hey. tu ni siwezi hiyo hey, mm-hmm. yani ni kama ni kama ni kama ni kama ni kama product yako unapokuwa na design and a great product ambayo ina great user experience mm-hmm. ni ile ambayo mtu anaweza akaitumia akai bila kusoma au kuuliza yes bila kuuliza mm-hmm. kama sasa hivi ilivyo simu ukienda kununua simu mpya dukani uta utatafuta tu off on button hii ukishawasha itakuwa inakuelekeza tu yeah. yes naendelea tu yes. kwa yeah. kwa sisi wa Kinasi honestly if we if, if have to, uh, to, to, to 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 be honest ni kama we didn't get it right from the beginning, from the beginning it was a running process yeah. no, na, as i said pia mimi nilikuwa na trans, na transition from business za kawaida kuja kwenye tech kwenye business tech so business, i had yeah. a lot of things to learn to learn yeah. na i didn't have um, a luxury ya ku mm-hmm. ya ku ya ku ya, ku, ya kuwa na resources za watu ambao mm-hmm. au human resources human capital ya watu ambao mm-hmm. wanajui hivyo vitu vyote yeah. so i was just doing kwa sasa hivi ndo kidogo kinembe mm-hmm. vitu vyote naelewa na nazingatia kila mm-hmm. kila process na sasa kwa watu ambao wanaanza kama una uwezo ni bora uwe na watu ambao ufanye kazi na watu ambao wana 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 uelewa na hivyo vitu. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu nimeona nimeona kuna tatizo kubwa kwenye ecosystem yetu. Mm-hmm. Ambao ndio sababu imefanya dini anzishe hefa na vitu kama hivyo. Mm-hmm. Ni kwamba watu wengi hawaelewi how product is a dig to product is not kwa built especially kama unataka yes. kwenye enterprise level yes hata mm-hmm. tu kwenye level ya kawaida, ya kawaida yeah. even a website 
watu watakuja wewe ni developer atakuja bwana nataka website ya kampuni yetu ya ya, ya, ya maji sawa brother ya kampuni yetu ya maji kwa hiyo okay nani labda unaweza kaa labda na na, na na nini tunasema ile brand manual sijui kwa jili ya niweze kuona font yote ni nini kala ni font hana yani anataka sasa yeye anataka kwamba developer ndio akafanya hivyo vitu vyote akatafuta hey, unaweza kukutana na kalogo tu ambako logo ni kwa branding colors unaweza kukutana na kalogo dogo lile logo yenyewe JPG afu logo sasa logo yenyewe ni kwamba wewe unafanya issue ambazo kabla wewe si huko si kwenye agriculture na nini lakini colors zako ni ni, ni red colors na nini like so kuna ndo 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 kutokana na hiyo swala That's kuna conflict kubwa sana yeah. between a developers na clients, clients okay. kwenye kuchelewesha kazi yeah kazi ambayo umeenda kumpa mtu umempa tu idea kama anataka website aende akafikirie kila kitu inaweza kachukua mwaka ah of course naona of course ah uh, nita hapa tu mfano mzuri sana kwa yes, kwa yes, kwa client ili understand hii kitu ni kwamba uwezi kwenda kwa mtu ambaye anajenga nyumba kaambia nataka nijengee nyumba vimba vinne ni agorofa afu kategoria kama ataenda kwa atajenga nyumba hata ambao kinyo talizikana bana unataka kujenga nyumba gorofa utaanza kwa architecture sio hata na architecture ana design ile michoro yeah, yeah, yeah. ata design la mani nini bana mpaka ile nyumba kama bana ikiisha itafanana hivi umeona magorofa wote wanaojenga kwa mjini hapa kuna vile mibango unaona msa gorofa ikiisha ita itafanana like it was the pro- end product ya digital mm-hmm. whether it's an app normal mm-hmm. website mm-hmm. au enterprise uh, mm-hmm. product kama mm-hmm. unaposema mm-hmm kuna procedure inaanza ku, kwa design na before pia haujaanza ku design website unaanzia kwa designer wa mm-hmm. uh, brand identity au yeah. yes okay kwa sasa pia sisi tuli tulivurunga yani sisi wenyewe tuli atukuanzia hivyo yani tulikuwa tunaenda hiyo mzee unaenda unaanza na logo na rudi unafaa yeah. lakini sasa yeah. hivi we have mastered that okay. that's why even we have even created Mm-hmm. Uh, for, because for, for that. people yeah so this has been a very uh, mm-hmm. interesting conversation we we started from the importance of humble beginnings uh, uh, the importance of having proper mentoring and support program mm-hmm. we came into connection the network and then we go we went to learning the way you have learned with Ognas to improve the platform to be kuja kwenye importance of branding and understanding clients need sasa tuna tunarudi tunakuja kwenye kufunga uh, we've talked about all these things and there's a lot of lesson in a, in a, in a short um, statement as possible um, what is your closing words to a potential new startup founder now in all the things we've talked about all right um, so cha kwanza uh, utakuwa uelewe basics za business mm-hmm other startup that's a fr- should be the first foundation ukishelewa mm-hmm. uh, uh, basics the business mm-hmm. cha pili mm-hmm. if you're going to take te- i mean technology business you have to understand the aspect of technology business mm-hmm. um then you can understand the aspect of technology business you have to understand the aspect of the sector ambao mm-hmm. una end up with your product yeah. for you know yeah. that Uh, kwa mfano mimi nitakupa mfano mdogo ili uelewe Wegnas is a technology company building products for African markets mm-hmm. tumekuja tumetengeneza wegnas.com mm-hmm. ambao ni product ambayo ina deal kwenye real estate three office mm-hmm. spaces meeting mm-hmm. rooms and conference venues which makes you not yes. understand about the real estate business yes the real estate business, yes, real estate yeah. business. Mm-hmm. but we're building also uh, wegnas plus of course iko itakuwa ita one soon of course paka tupinde kinaenda wani na zani toka ikwa wani like nas plus na boy ni for freelancing na nini um lakini kuna sehemu ambazo mimi industries as na relate na kwa nini nime build uh with nas plus no ne kuna nani kwa mtu kama yeye ni going to be you will lay away kwa hiyo spaces on but freelancers okay yes ah kwa sababu mimi i mean niko kwenye real estate business lakini focusing on um not really listed per se lakini uh, mm-hmm. co-working new way of working okay. so okay. yes kambo okay. ina relate sana na freelancing na mambo kama okay. so uelewe industry ambayo una deal nayo lakini uelewe the technology business kwa sababu itakuguide kuna kuna tatizo pia naliona kubwa jumanne 
tuna 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 tunakuwa tuna major in minor things yani kwa mfano mimi nime build wake nasi yani ningetaka nitataka niwe mtaalamu wa real estate au wako office spaces tu no 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 nitakuwa niwe mtaalamu wa tech business yeah na ielewa tech business and how it works yes japo nitakuwa nielewe na hiyo real estate lakini that's a minor ndio maana nikaanza kwa mpangilio kwamba you start with the basics you understand business kwa sababu ni universal yani nani practices a business in universal whether you go to German Tanzania ukimaliza hapo unaingia kwenye technology then you have to understand technology kwa sababu technology business is different from normal SMEs normal business kuna basics zake kuna practices zake then you understand the industry na ya mwisho ndio tulisema it's your business, business. <laughs> not your <Jumanes>, money <laughs> not even your mom's <laughs> business, business. Yeah. Yeah. it's yours yeah. it's yours so yeah uh, uh, assume kama hakuna mtu yoyote ambaye ndakao kukusaidia yeah, it's in your hand to empire yeah. Yeah. so thank you so much edgar this has been amazing uh, guys again thank you for listening to us uh, you can follow the conversation hashtag #startup school tv you can continue to ask edgar's questions do you prefer yeah. ask edgar or ask mampinge Hashtag as one pinge on social media <laughs> and uh, this whole thing going to be aired uh, for, uh, live online we published from Wednesday next week and uh, we are looking forward to continue to, to learn together stay safe hashtag covid yeah, 19 kidogo ni manda follow pia account zetu za ah okay yeah, not even sa, my account ya account ya help account kwa sababu tumekubaliana kuna principle so yes. you can follow at the at the help mm-hmm. at weakness sawa and at weakness plus okay yes sawa. <laughs> uh, karibu sana karibu sana yeah